up, my people? Today we are talking about how to destroy a gaslighter. Sounds kind of harsh, huh? Ooh, wait till you hear what I have to say about this one. But before we dive in, like and subscribe, please. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. I am hoping to get there ASAP and every subscription helps. So thank you and drop me a note. I love hearing from you guys. Truly, I respond to every comment I give. So please, if this is encouraging and helping you, let me know. But let's dive in. So how do we destroy a gaslighter? Listen, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do it. And if you hang in till the end of this video, I will give you the ultimate gaslighting destroyer phrase for you to use. It is juicy, it is powerful, and it came from my therapist, which means it's legit. You know what I mean? Because I'm not a, par a therapist, even though I play one on TV. Anyway, let's talk about what it means to destroy a gaslighter. Well, that really begins with acknowledging what is happening in a gaslighting relationship, right? A gaslighting relationship is a relationship where one person is trying to control the way another person perceives reality so that it benefits them, not them. In fact, the term gaslighting came from a movie, a 1940s movie with In Ingrid Bergman. And it was about a woman who started a relationship with a very dashing and exciting man. And before long, the guy was basically making her feel crazy so that he could steal her money. That's, that's the long and the short of it. And it was called gaslight because he kept turning down the gaslight. It was like Victorian era, turning down the gaslights in the house up and down to kind of confuse her. Her. And she would say, I, th I thought the lights were low a minute ago. And he'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. They've been bright all day. He was just messing with her sanity. And so that phrase became shorthand for any time someone tries to talk you out of what you know to be real. And people that are gaslighters are manipulators. But that desire to manipulate and that need to control how someone else is perceiving reality usually comes from a backstory in which this person was never taught how to ask for what they need, or if they were asking for what they need, they were constantly rejected. So what do they do? They learn a workaround. And for a lot of people, that is gaslighting. And for some people, it's not even intentional. It's not even malicious. It is just literally the only way they know how to get their needs met. And it's devastating, it's damaging, and it is unacceptable. So regardless of why your gaslighter is gaslighting you, it's inappropriate, it's ineffective, and it is wrong. So when we talk about like how to destroy a gaslighter. Listen, this is very, very simple. The way to destroy a gaslighter conceptually is that you want to step outside of their realm of influence. Like imagine like, ooh, you know, like hypnosis, like I have you under my spell. When you s wake up from the gaslighter spell and say, whoa, 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 time out. That's not what happened. This is my perception of what happened. When you show them that you have woken up from that spell, that's how you destroy them. When you show them that they have no power over you, that's how you destroy them. Because what happens is they realize that their powers no longer work. And usually what happens is they throw a massive tantrum. So when you show a, per a gaslighter that the jig is up, you're out, and you're not buying into their stuff anymore, they will throw a massive tantrum. They'll accuse you of stuff. They will become the victim. They will threaten you. They will make your life very difficult. So here's what I want to say, and I don't know what version of gaslighting you're dealing with right now, so maybe somewhere in here you can see yourself. But if you are going to destroy a gaslighter once and for all and show them that they have no power over you, make sure you are protected. One person on my YouTube, in my YouTube community was talking about how they needed to call out a gaslighter because they were breaking the law. They were doing something shady and they were so afraid to call out this gaslighter for the shady work because they knew what the gaslighter would do would come after them legally. They would project all of their illegal shenanigans. They would project it on the person that was destroying them. And so that kept this person who was on my channel from actually confronting the destroying the gaslighter because they knew that when they called out the behavior, that gaslighter would turn it right back around on them and destroy them. So here's what I want you to know. If you are going to 
destroy that gaslight or whatever capacity. Maybe you quit the job. Maybe you, you know, involve HR. Maybe you, you know, become the whistleblower in the dynamic and just say enough is enough. Have your side of the street clean. What do I mean by that? If you confront a gaslighter and truly destroy them, and I don't mean physically, I just mean show them that they have no power over you anymore, you better make sure your resume is dusted off, especially if you report, especially if they have more power than you do. If you sever that cord of energy that connects the two of you, you better be ready to find another job, number one. Number two, if you are going to call out their bad behavior, you better have the receipts. You better let HR know this is coming. Get your ducks lined up, right? Protect yourself. Make sure that you have witnesses. Make sure that you have examples, whatever you need to protect yourself. Because when you destroy a gaslighter, they do not go down without a fight. They do not go down without a fight. Be ready for shenanigans. And if you've made it this far in the video, I'm about to tell you my favorite gaslighting phrase. Ready? This is my favorite one. You look at the person or you talk to the person and you say, this is as far as I want to take this relationship. And then you stop talking. What that signals to them is that this is over. You no longer have control of me and I no longer am in relationship with you. This is as far as I want to take this relationship. What I love about it is that it doesn't, there's no drama. There's no, um, you know, emotional explosions happening. It is a calm statement of fact. This is as far as I want to take this relationship. I got to tell you, when I delivered that line to a gaslighting narcissist that I was working with, she was literally dumbstruck. She, she, could, she couldn't speak, could not speak. She was so surprised. And what made her crazy afterwards, because I heard from other people, was that I had covered myself. I knew that I was res absolutely dissolving the relationship. I made sure I had other clients lined up to catch the sort of, you know, when you lose a big client, you better have other ones in the pipeline. And I did. And so she couldn't control me financially. She couldn't destroy my reputation because I had shored up the people that mattered to me in the organization. I had shored up my support there. I had covered my side of the street. And so when I severed it, it was over. And whatever tantrum she threw never affected me. That is the power of having strategies and techniques for dealing with these people, which is why I started this channel is I wanted everyone to have access to the same techniques and strategies that I have learned in my one million years of working, especially with a lot of gaslighters. So I hope that was helpful. Please let me know what you think. If there's other things you want to hear, other videos you want me to make, let me know. I'm here for you. And remember, shine on. We need your light. I'll see you next time.